Cypress I.O. is one of the best tools on the market at the moment when doing test automation. And it just released a brand new version, and that is version 10. Now, in this video, I'm going to try to answer two questions. How do you update to version 10 the correct way? And should you update to version 10? Let's get started. So in order to do the update, you first need to do npx cypress open. In this way, Cypress will check the current version that you have and will try to guide you on the process of doing the actual installation of version 10. So Cypress just started. And in my case, I have here version 9.7.0. You can see I have a couple of tests. The default test plus another older test from an older video. So if I want to update, the correct way would be just to click on the version and copy the uh, npm command here. I go back to my terminal. I would stop this. Paste the command. And based on your project, this may take some time. In my case, since I don't have that many tests, and not that much configuration, it went pretty far, so, or sorry, pretty fast. And now I can just do again mpx cypress.open and cypress should see that I'm running um, the 10.0.1 for the first time. Well, to be honest, it's not actually the first time for me because uh, I did do this a couple of times before the video, but let's see, why is it thinking so much? So for me, thought a little bit. In your case, it may take more than one try to make it work, but um, you will then see the new Cypress runner, the one for version 10, and we can either watch the video at this point, see the release notes, or say continue to Cypress 10. Now, right now, um, since, like I said, it's a bigger version, um, the first run of the Cypress 10 version includes a migration wizard. This wizard will check uh, your current structure um, of Cypress and indicate the changes that you need to make in order to be compatible with version 10. So the first thing is we need to, or Cypress will do the renaming of the existing specs, which means we will not have our test under integration anymore. We'll have it under a folder called end-to-end. Uh, -end. Uh, the specification file, the specs files, will not have uh, file name dot specs dot extension. We'll have file name dot c y dot extension. And we have here an overview of the before and after uh, for all of the tests that we have. If we agree with what is here, we can just say rename this specs for me, and Cypress will do this automatically. Um, depending on your configuration, you may have another setting here. I only have um, uh, two options. So, um, <clears throat> Cypress saw, so, okay, we have uh, cypress.json file, it will rename it to cypress.config.json.js, sorry, not JSON. Um, and I will just say migrate the config for me. And the first thing which I saw, which I didn't like about the migration, is <coughs> that they removed the experimental studio. Uh, I really like this feature. Or that feature. It was helpful when you were new to Cypress, when you were struggling a bit, or when you wanted to just make some fast tests. And I did try it to, or in the um, <clears throat> uh, in the, this discussion panels, to have it uh, brought back because I thought it was helpful. So there you have it. This was all that you needed to do in order to have. Um, in order to actually um, migrate from a previous version to the version 10. Now, there is a component testing uh, part, uh, which were, it's still in beta, which we're not going to cover in this video. We'll do a separate video for that. But now that we have the end-to-end um, -end testing part configured, let's just run a few tests. So 
we can um, click on that. Now it asks us what kind, um, what browser, on what browser we want to run our test. We'll just say Chrome and it will open the runner for us. As you can see, the, the views are different. Um, seems to be more um, dashboard centric. And you still have here, uh, nonetheless, um, the Cypress tests. Let's see how they actually run. We have here one small test for accessibility. <coughs> they should open um, a site which has some accessibility issues and then uh, make a check on the site and indicate um, the different accessibility problems that it finds. And the test ran and the test passed. So if we go now to the specs, we, um, we see, well, basically see nothing at the moment. We just see that the, 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 the files uh, that we, we have, um, but we can actually, um, can actually go, I mean, one nice thing is you can do uh, new specs from here. So uh, you don't need to directly go back to your um, IDE and do it. And we can go back to our IDE nonetheless to check on some things. So as we can see, we have a new folder end to end, where we have our um, tests. If we, for example, would remove this uh, default or this um, test which come when you install Cypress and just leave with our test and we go back to the Cypress runner that is really fast shown also here and if we go to our configuration we see that we have config we still have this experimental studio even though it's not helping us anymore now I didn't get a chance to check if all of the plugins which um, I have previously installed still work. I will do that in the future. And to be honest, I cannot answer the question, um, do I want to do the update now or not? Um, I would say not yet. Uh, however, um, once you do the update um, and you try to revert back to a previous version, um, you will see that your configuration file will remain. So we will have no cypress.json file anymore. So we'll have to build that up yourself. Um, your test will be moved and renamed. Um, your in, under support, um, you will have some changes as well. So my suggestion would be um, do a backup of your project. If you want to try to do the update right now, if not, you can wait a little bit. And the decision is mainly up to you. I mean, I will update eventually because I like Cypress, but I still need to get used to, to things. Uh, I mean, they took away this nice feature, which um, I, like I said, I thought it was helpful. And they, they changed the UI a little bit, which I don't really like at the moment, but I'm sure I will grow into it as always. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to write in the comment, would you update or would you not update? Also, if you have any update issues, right? I did it a couple of times and I'm pretty sure I can find a solution for you as well. As always, thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.